Great change has come to the enduring halls of Ironforge. Obsessed with the workings of the Titans, the dwarves retrieve their creator's mystical tablets from the fabled city of Ulduar. Activating one such tablet, King Magni Bronzebeard fell prey to a terrible curse that fused his statue-like form into the diamond heart of Ironforge itself. To compound this tragedy, Magni's estranged daughter Moira arrived, claiming her father's throne for herself and for her infant Dark Iron Son. To avert civil war, the dwarves created the Council of Three Hammers, an uneasy coalition that would share power equally amongst the clans. Now, with political upheaval rising within the kingdom and the great cataclysm ravaging the surrounding lands, the future of Ironforge falls to brave dwarves like you. Hello everybody and welcome back to the world of Warcraft. Today we're going to be starting up a brand new series. We are going to be playing a Dwarf Paladin for this run, guys. And uh, most of you are probably wondering, hey, Sour, what happened to the Druid playthrough you were doing? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I logged in last night to record the ninth, I think, episode. And um, I, real I realized something. And uh, to be quite frank with you guys, that real realization was I absolutely hated it. Um... <laughs> I know that's a that's a strong word, but you know I wasn't uploading consistently with that series, and and the reason why was I was just wasn't having a good time. Um, I tr last night I I tried playing Feral again, and just couldn't get the hang of it. I it just wasn't for me. There was I I don't know if I was doing something wrong or what was going on, but I just was not enjoying it. I switched back over to Balance again for like the fifth time. And also realized I hated that too and, and wasn't enjoying that. And then I logged off and I said, you know what? We're going to start fresh. So here we are today. It's the following day. I, I slept on it. And uh, we're going to start up a brand new series with the Dwarf Paladin. So uh, here we are. This is uh, Sour Beard. I gave him uh, the classic look. He's got the longer dwarf hair, the, the, the big beard. And... Uh, you know, it's a classic, classic dwarf. Yeah. Um, let's get things started here today, guys. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put up our action bars. And I'm going to turn auto loot on, which it already is. Take a look at the sound quality. Things are about normal. Okay. That looks good. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and take the first quest. Before we get started, though, I do want to make sure I make you guys aware of kind of the rules that I set forth on these series. Um, that is, you know, obviously we're going to stay in the classic uh, zone from 1 through 60. Um, try and experience, you know, a majority of that content first. We're going to read the quests. We're going to try and understand the lore um, of each zone we go into and, and complete. Um, we're only going to do dungeons if it pertains to the zone that we're in. So, for example, if we're in Westfall, we would run Dead Mines, um, and, you know, etc. So that's kind of how we'll play it. Um, obviously when we get to 60, it's going to be, you know, there's going to, it's going to open up a whole different, um, uh, content for us and we'll experience that once we get there, but we're going to stay in the old world. And after each zone that we're going to be in and uh, complete, we'll do a recap at the end where we'll put our character up on the left side and, uh, you know, we'll just recap what we learned in that zone. And that's kind of how we will do it. Uh, just like in the Druid playthrough, we're going to do the same exact thing here with the Paladin. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's let this, uh, let's get this journey going. No. Hey, you there. You're a stout-looking paladin. Lend us a hand? It looks like today's big earthquake shook a bunch of those barbarous trogs out of the ground, and they're, sh and they're sure steamed up about something. My men are doing what they can to hold them off, but we could use a hand. Do your part. Head just south of here and help me dig... Help dig me mountaineers out of trouble. We've gotta, gotta hold the line. Be good. <laughs> and um, if you're new to the series, guys... First of all, welcome in, uh, but I do want to let you know that I butcher every single name and sometimes it just seems like I have a hard time reading in general. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully you still enjoy. This is one of the trogs right here that we need to kill. 
And the first spell we get is Crusader Strike. Strike the target for 24 physical damage, generates one holy power. And from my understanding about Paladins, that's kind of how you generally play them. You stack up uh, holy power, and then you have a you know holy power dumping spell. Um, and that's, from my experience, how you how you're supposed to play them. As far as what spells we get, I do not know. But uh, we'll figure that out as we go. And it looks like it just wants us to kill the small guys for now. We don't need the bigger the bigger trogs. So let's go ahead and finish up killing six of these guys. And we'll go turn this guy in. All right, that should be the last one we need. Let's go turn it in. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be playing retail again. Um, the thing about it is, is I wasn't putting out content consistently and I wasn't, um, I, you know, there's a reason for that. And it was just, I wasn't enjoying the Druid. It was, it was almost like I felt like it was a chore. Like I just, I had to get in there and record an episode because I know you guys are enjoying, uh, you guys like the Dragonflight content. Um, I think for a majority of, of you guys enjoy Dragonflight over classic era. Um, but for me personally, it's like when I play retail, it has to be like, I can't be stuck playing a, a character that I, I'm not enjoying and that's what was happening with the druid and it's it's unfortunate and i know some of you guys are going to be disappointed about that but um you know at the end of the day it's going to be better for content wise is if i'm enjoying and i'm having a good time so that's why we're here today impressive work laddie we can hold the perimeter from here on out here take this for your troubles it might come in handy as i've got something more important to ask of ye ask of ye uh, looks like we just leveled up and got a new spell. Shield of the Righteous slams enemies in front of you with your shield, causing 10 holy damage and increasing your armor by 37. Cool. Um, all right, Sourbeard, listen up. I know a thing or two about trogs, and one of those things is that the biggest, strongest trogs get the most respect. The brutes value strength over anything else. You see those great big trogs sitting back behind the front lines? They're the closest they have to what you'd call a leader. Go take out a few and show them what it means to mess with the Sons of Ironforge. Be good. And we also just got some legs from that quest. And we, it looks like we're getting some boots from this next quest we're about to do. And we did see those bigger trogs over here somewhere. So let's go kill a few of those as well. Um, at least they were over here. We're gonna have to look around for a minute. So, we, oh, I see one. You just need three of them. It looks like. Shouldn't take long at all especially with how fast we're able to kill things in these starter zones there's there's a massive jump that i've noticed in between like levels one through ten and once you get past ten it's like the mobs take their their health gets like increased and the damage they do is increased or something because it's much harder to kill and stay alive but right now we're we're pretty much one-shotting things but yeah, let's turn this in, and it looks like there's one more quest we need to pick up as well. Well met. Hmm, they blame us for destroying their home, you say. Well, that wasn't us. That was the horrible earthquake we had earlier today. Are they that dense they can't see we nearly lost our camp too? Can't blame a trog for fighting for his home, though. Safe let's equip those new boots. 
You got my attention. Sourbeard, listen. Unlike Joran, I've no need for your blade, but I do need someone with a steady hand and a bit of courage. Our mountaineers are training to protect the village from the o the odd wolf attack. Not an all-out Trog invasion. Many of our best have succumbed to wounds and exhaustion, and I need your help bandaging them up. Here, take my first aid kit and assist as many as you can. See you soon. Okay. So we're healing up some of these uh, fallen troops over here. What can I do for you? I can't use that item yet. Hello. All right, last one we need. Done, easy peasy. Turn it in and I think it's probably Great gonna send to us up to the lodge here in a second. Many of us, or many of those that you saved have already made it back to camp. The wounds are well dressed. You might have a future in first aid if you're into that sort of thing. Safe travels. And now we have Judgment. Judge is the target, dealing 14 holy damage. I love this spell. This spell is super satisfying to use. We appreciate your help out here, but there may be a place where they need you even more. Due to the Trog's attacks, not to mention that massive earthquake we just had, we're putting all civilians on lockdown inside Amblemar, just up the hill to the northwest. Go and talk to me wife, Jonah, inside Amblemar. I'm certain she's in need of an able-bodied man such as yourself. She's in need of a man, huh? Your wife's in need of a man? <laughs> Guess we can solve that problem for you, sir. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what his wife wants. Ah, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy in here? Go and bother someone else. I haven't the time. Wait, what's that you say? Jorn sent you to help? Well, why didn't you say so? Watch your back. I don't know how anyone expects to get any work done around here if we don't have any ale. Our beer level here in Envelmar is dangerously low. Lucky for us, we've stowed some backup kegs for just such an occasion. West of Envelmar, along the valley's northern border, you'll find kegs of Stormhammer Stout and Theramore Pale Ale. Just to the east of here, you'll find a stash of Nomenbrow. That's my, that's me personal favorite. Keep your feet on the ground. And, uh, okay, we're gonna be looking for kegs of beer, huh? Here they are. Alright then. Sourbeard, my boy, are you into archaeology? Absolutely not. No, I'm not at all, actually. But we'll help you out if it's relatively easy. We have an exciting opportunity right outside our front door. All the shaking from today's seismic event has knocked a number of our artifacts loose from the soil around our encampment. Survey along the valley's northern border and you should find all sorts of treasures. Bring some back to me and perhaps we can study them together. Right then, off you go. Good. All right, we're grabbing beer and artifacts. Very dwarven quest. Looks like what, this is one of the kegs that we need to grab right here. We also need to keep an eye out for those artifacts that are on the ground. Looks like they could be potentially over here as well, so... Yep, here's one. And then we'll just do a, a quick lap around the highlighted area on our mini-map and we'll see what we can find as far as the kegs go and the artifacts. Okay, we have two out of the three um, 
beer kegs that we need, and we just need two more of the artifacts, so let's keep an eye out for those. See the last keg. I don't see any more artifacts, though. Take that. Maybe there's some more. Here's one. Up oh, two. There we go. Alright, let's go turn these in real quick. This guy's loomed out. Look at this guy. Looking like a true badass. Alright. Jonah. Hi. Off with ya. Jonah drinks deeply from the gnome and brow. Ah, that hits the spot. Now we can get some work done around here. If we're going to be on lockdown for any extended period of time, we're going to need some food and some blankets to keep the wee ones warm. Would you mind heading outside and gathering up some supplies? You'll find that a few of the small boars actually have some healthy sized haunches. Good for eating. We also need some pelts from the young wolves. You'll find animals almost anywhere you go in Coldridge. Keep your feet on the ground. What can I get for you today? Wonderful! Look at this one. It must be over 200 years old. Now, on to other matters. The Trog village to the southwest suffered, suffered similar damage to ours. One would assume logically that there would be some Trog artifacts sticking out of the ground too. Unfortunately, it looks like most of the artifacts have already been scooped up by Trog scavengers. Please go see if you can find some way to get them back. Believe it or not, knowledge about Trogs may eventually lead to further knowledge about the mighty dwarves. Off with you. We get a chess piece from that quest as well. Um, so we're gonna go kill some boars, some wolves, and, um, some more trogs, it looks like. Looks like the trogs we need to kill are just literally right here in this encampment. Um, we did just get flash heal, or flash of light as well. Put that on our action bar. I'm gonna move this over here. Boom. Two hits. Alright, so we're gonna collect five of the artifacts from these guys. This one should be the last one we need. Perfect. Now we just need to focus on these boars and wolves. We can probably take on multiple at a time. Uh, I love the, the multi-loot. That's a feature I definitely wish was in Classic. That would be amazing. Okay. Uh, two more of the boars. And one more wolf. Oh, I missed. I did that too early. Last boar we need is right here. Cool. That was cake. Easy peasy. Let's head back. Oh. 
Something I didn't go over is the stone form. So it removes all harmful poison, disease, curse, magic, and bleed effects and reduces all physical damage taken by 10% for 8 seconds. So this is a nice little defensive. And this is actually our racial. So we get that just for being a dwarf. Pretty cool. This will have to do for now. We've a lot of people to feed here, but we've got to make do with what we've got. With any luck, King Bronzebeard and Ironforge will send us some help shortly. Keep your feet on the ground. I have the finest wares in all. Did you manage to pry any artifacts from the Trogs? Hey, good. Well, would you look at this. An axe blade, a couple of arrowheads, and what appears to be some sort of rudimentary spoon. This is indeed fascinating. Thanks again for your help, Sourbeard. I've much studying to keep myself occupied while Jorn's got us under lockdown. Watch your back. What's on your mind? You've done us a great service here, but I'm afraid I've got to send ye off elsewhere. Grelin Whitebeard, a good friend of mine, has put in word that he may need some reinforcements near the troll camps to the southwest. Follow the road westward. You should find him soon enough. Be well. Trogs may be a pain, but trolls are a whole other type of trouble. Watch your back. I think we can handle some trolls. I think we have this. Looks like he's down to the south, so let's make that journey down there real quick and see how we can help Grelin Whitebeard. All right, well, we've made it. Just by discovering this zone, we uh, we leveled up to five. And then we just had this priest give us uh, Power Word Fortitude, which increases our stamina by 5%. Pretty nice of you. Thank you, sir. May your generosity be returned to you a hundredfold. Great to meet you. Welcome, Paladin. Are you ready to get to work? See you soon. The trolls are acting up. More than usual, I'd say. We've seen them put together war parties before, but this time... It's different. What matters most, however, is the continued protection of Anvilmar. I have no intention to let these trolls flank Anvilmar while, it's, in, while it's, its attention is turned towards Trogs. Go thin their ranks a bit. They need to know that we're still not without defenses. We get a nice, um, is it nice? One to three damage? That's not a lot. Huh. It's a weapon. Hi, you're a tall one. I was on my way to join my fellow gnomes at Normagram, but then it all went so horribly wrong. I left Amplemar, bags packed and wading through waist-deep snow. Then we had this ridiculous earthquake, and I got all turned around. I ended up here, and what's worse, the trolls stole all my stuff. Sourbeard, I've obviously proven myself to be quite incompetent over the last day and a half. Would you mind infiltrating the troll camp southwest of here and returning my stuff to me? Yeah, yeah, I guess we can help you. We're going over there anyway to kill the trolls, so we might well. I'm notoriously bad at reading troll facial expressions. That being said, these trolls don't look angry to me. They seem to be confused, maybe a little frightened. Something happened that we're not seeing here, Sourbeard. I say we do some investigation before we just kill every troll in sight. There are three troll camps in the area. One to the southeast, one to the southwest, and one due west. Each camp has a soothsayer. See if you can get close en enough to listen to what they're saying. Watch your back. So, Grelin Whitebeard wants us to annihilate every troll we see. And Apprentice Sorin wants to find out what's going on first before we start killing everybody. So, both these quests are kind of contradicting each other. Um, and I'm going to take the path of killing. Because <laughs> I want the experience. I don't think there's repercussions from not killing. Alright, these are the trolls we do need to kill. We need to kill 10 of these, so we're just gonna literally kill every single one we see. We need to make sure we're looting, though. And... This is the Soothsayer, it looks like. Let's get close to her. 
The spirits be angry with us. I don't know why the spirits be rejecting us so. Don't worry, child. Grichnir gonna help us get through this. That it? That all, that is that literally it? Okay. Yep, that was literally it. Here's Felix Bolt Bucket, and we're gonna do one of these numbers on these guys here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna head on off to the next one. Looks like the other camp is just up here. So once again with the dilemma with the professions, so um, you guys are going to have to let me know what you guys want to want us to do. Should we grab professions? Should we just get gathering pr professions or should we just not worry about it? I think get gathering, uh, gathering professions would be beneficial for us. We can just take all that stuff and put it on the auction house and hopefully increase our gold income, be able to upgrade our bags and such be pretty nice so I think we might just do that but let me know what you guys want you guys want me to level something like blacksmithing and actually make gear and stuff that I'd be certainly willing to do that that actually might be kind of fun we'll probably be leveling so fast though that it won't really matter even if we are taking it slow Um, I've killed all the trolls we need to kill, so I'm just going to grab this last box for Felix and listen to the soothsayer. Our land be a land of ice and snow, but beneath the earth, child, there always be fire. That's deep. All right, we made it back to this little camp. Let's talk to Felix first. Hi, how are you? Off and away. You have a great day now. Huzzah! You found them. Get ready. Women of Normagran, here comes Felix. Now, which road takes me out of here? All righty then. What's on your mind? Hopefully did that that did the trick. Anvamar will be safe from trolls for the time being. Now to find out what it what it is the trolls so what it is that has the trolls so agitated. Do we want a one hand or a two hand? I'm I think in the two hand. Be good. What's on your mind? Hmm, interesting. From what you're saying, it sounds like a fire ele elemental might have snuck in from Searing Gorge, or the earthquake opened up a crack to the elemental plane. Soren laughs uncomfortably. Either way, this is bad news. You should probably report this information to Grelin. See you soon. Nice. It's got 20... That was 25 quests already. How are you? Soren did well to send you out on recon. That's some good information you have right there. Trouble is, this just adds more work for us to do. The trolls, confused as they are right now, still would like to still would like to kick the doors right out of Coldridge, and I'm certainly not gonna let some fiery demon turn our snowy valley into a mountain lake. The troll leader, his servants, and the fire creature should all be in the cave to the southeast. Take them all out. This guy is brutal. He's like, nope, don't care. Kill them all. Kill every last one of them. Don't care. Um, all right, let's equip this chest piece we got as well. It looks like this cave is where we need to go. So let's let's uh, head in there and annihilate some more trolls. All right, we made it in the cave. Um, I also just noticed we just got Consecration at level 6, which is crazy. 22 holy damage over 12 seconds to anybody who enters the area. 
So let's try it out here. So I actually need a shield in order to use this ability. So maybe we should have took the one hand. There's a certain guy we have to kill. We have to kill Grick near the cold and uh, a fire elemental. My guess is he's gonna be down here. It looks like he is. Here's the fire elemental. Hey, uh. A little bit harder to kill him. Still really easy. Oh, this uh, is actually an AOE. I didn't realize that. Slams enemies in front of you. So anybody that's directly in front of me is going to get hit with that spell. That's actually pretty cool. And then where's the frost main? Oh, these are the no novices. I need to grab three of these guys as well. And fall off a cliff, apparently. All right, and we're done. Easy peasy. Let's head back out and turn this in. Okay, Grelin. I'm glad you've returned safely. While it may not look like it now, you've proven to be a tremendous asset in the protection of Amblemar. Here, take this as a symbol of my gratitude. The presence of a fire elemental here in Coldridge is no small matter. That earthquake did more than just upset a bunch of trogs. It changed the world enough to tear a gash into the elemental plane. We should submit a report to Ironforge. You wouldn't be willing to take a trip, would you? Don't worry, I have a feeling that you'll do just fine. Take to Talk to Hans Springsprocket by the tunnel on the eastern edge of the valley. He'll point you in the right direction. Be good. Looks like we're heading out of here, guys. Um, up to the Trog Tunnel, the infamous Trog Tunnel that leads out of here. Which looks like it's just up this way a bit. Alright, we made it to uh, Hans Springsprocket. To Ironforge. Well, first you'll need to go through Karanos, and before that you'll have to go through this tunnel. <laughs> All right, then. Did, did, did you see that? How the whole cave just crumbled like that? I guess it's good that you're here when you did and not a minute earlier. While this development makes my job of monitoring the cave entrance much easier, I imagine it makes it a lot harder for you to get to Karanos. Hey, wait. I've got an idea. The Normorgan airmen have a flight path not far from here. I'll send up a signal, and they should be here to help. I imagine they'll land back over at Amblemar. Very good. Okay, so we no longer even have to walk through the cave. It doesn't look blocked off to me. Can we still walk through this? Are we supposed to be able to do that? I'm going to do what the quest says. <laughs> I, I thought it was... If I remember correctly, I thought what it like once we talk to that guy, it literally does crumble. It like phases us into a new layer and it that's blocked off, but I could be totally making that up. Milo Gert Gert Gertwinge. Good day to you. Reporting for duty, you sent up a distress signal? Very well then. The weight limit on my Euro? <laughs> Gyro? Gyro? It's such, it's such that I only have enough room for one dwarf. Looks like you're in luck, Sourbeard. 
That dwarf woman Jonah told me the most of your personal belongings have moved inside Ambalmar. Please gather what you'll need, finish up any affairs that remain, and return to me when you're prepared for takeoff. We get a bag from it, so definitely. I'm ready to go. Let's do it, Milo. Hey, All right, then. Oh, we still... Oh, never mind. I guess we have to... We have to pack our bags. Cold Ridge beer flagon? I, we literally have to go buy beer? I don't know. We still have a quest in here, so we'll see. We'll see what's gonna have us do. Let's talk to Jonah. You're leaving. Make sure you stock up before you head out. More importantly, please speak to Theric Blackst Blackstone once you arrive at Karanos. Tell him what has happened here in Coldridge, and that we could use some assistance. Hopefully, he'll be able to arrange something for us. Report to Theric Blackstone in Karanos. Let's grab the... Okay, no, we don't have to buy beer, but we have to literally grab food and beer and everything we possibly need for the long, long trip ahead of us. Alright, let's go back and talk to Milo and get out of here. Alright, let's go ahead and equip our new, uh, new legs as well. Honored, I'm sure. Very well, then. Took you long enough. Hold on tight and take a good hard look. Chances are you won't be coming back here for quite some time. Very good. And equip our bag. Somehow. I can't equip that. Why can't we equip our bag? Oh, it's not really a bag. <laughs> okay. Psych. How do we... Can we open it? I can't do it on the flight path, apparently. Um, what is he saying to us? Is this thing on? Hello? Ah, there you are. Hello. I figured that while you're flying to Karanos, I'd give you some data about what's going on outside Coldridge Valley. If you thought you had problems with the trolls in Coldridge, wait till you get to Karanos. That big catacly cataclysm got the trolls all stirred up out here. And if you'll look to your left, you'd see that the gnomes have retaken Gnomergan. Hooray for us. There's plenty else going on out here, too. We've opened up the path to the airport. There's rumors of dark irons in the east. Oh, and I think something uh, something weird is going on with that dwarf king, Magni. Might want to check it out. And here we are. Welcome to Karanos. Watch your step on the way out. Perfect. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good day. Um, here's Theric Blackstone right here. Cold Ridge Valley. I've got my own problems here. What they can't deal with, a couple of trogs and, and trolls and incursions from the elemental plane. Actually, on second thought, that's kind of a lot. I'm surprised they're doing as well as they are. I'll see what I can do. Up with you. Okay, we got a lot of quests to pick up here, guys. Um, I wonder if there's like a mining trainer of some kind in here. I think in retail there's like a guy that trains all professions. I wonder if we can find him at some point. Well, well, let's grab the quest and let's well, then we'll then we'll worry about professions. Oh, here we go, profession trainer. <laughs> Please to meet. Never mind. Tell me about gathering professions. Uh, well, I definitely want mining. Train me in mining. Perfect. Off and away. And uh, what else we want? I don't know. Uh, skinning, herbalism. Be seeing you. Alrighty then. Should we get blacksmithing? I feel like we shouldn't. I feel like we won't. We won't, we won't actually complete it, so there's really no point. Let's just grab. Uh, let's grab herbalism. No, actually, you know what? Be seeing you. Let's grab skinning. The reason for that is we will only. I. I don't. I. It, 
in classic, we can only track one thing. Like we can only track like the, the or, right? And so if we're tracking or we won't be able to track the flowers and stuff that we pick up. So let's go skinning. You have a great day now. The Cataclysm has thrown the balance of power in Dunmoreau into question, Sourbeard. Without warning, a wave of trogs emerged from the caves near Nomergan and overran the Frostmane trolls. The trolls have been migrating east ever since. There has always been a Frostmane presence up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest, but with the migration, the trolls now surround us. We can't allow the trolls to use this position to their advantage while my men hold the line in the east. Strike against Shimmer Ridge. Kill five Frostmane Seers and seven Frostmane Snow Striders on Shimmer Ridge. Um, why are you still glowing? Okay, no, you stopped. Can we, let's open this now. Okay, so we do get the bag. And it automatically equipped it for us and we get a cloak. I think that's about it. You got my attention. I'm on a quest to make the perfect stout. I know I can do it. Brewing's in my blood. I just need to find the right recipe. The Frostmane trolls grow a plant, Shimmerweed, up on Shimmer Ridge to the northwest. They use it in their strange tribal rituals. We haven't found much use for it, but it, it has a unique taste, and I want to experiment with it in my brews. Obtaining the shimmer weed will be dangerous, but I'll pay well for any you can borrow from the baskets in the troll village. Watch, get get some back. gloves from it. Well met. Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer bastard boar ribs. Only problem is the local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the king's army to help with the war on the alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me some boar ribs and Rhapsody malt from the tavern here, I'll give you the family recipe from my famous beer bastard boar ribs, not to mention a free sample. The secret's in the malt. Safe travels. There's also a flight path we need to grab, but I also want to make sure we set our hearthstone. I have the finest wires in the lab. Here. Let's grab the Rhapsody malt. Keep your feet on the ground. What can I do for you? Um, and make our Save in. Hi. Off with you. I see a lot of young dwarves at my door, eager to learn the trade of cooking. And if there's one thing a cook needs more than anything, it's a cl it's a cleaver. I have a list of students who scored high in their lessons and earned an honorary cleaver. Take my list to Golnir Bouldertoe in Ironforge. He'll get the cleavers ready. The fastest way to Ironforge is on the Griffin, so bring the list to our Griffin Master, Brolin Galebeard, and speak with him about transport to Ironforge. Can, can we learn cooking? Is that... Safe Let's grab it. Why not? And, um, yeah. We'll go, uh, we'll go turn this last quest in, and then we'll get on the flight path and... Go to Ironforge, I guess. Knock that out real quick. That's easy XP. Talk to me. Work with you. Have you had your fill of Karano so soon? Are you ready to leave for another Be city? Good. You have to get this to Ironforge, eh? For a small fee, I can put you on the back of one of my griffins, and it'll take you there. How does that sound? Watch, get back. Sounds pretty good. For just a few coins, one of my griffins will take you to Ironforge. From there, deliver Grimlock's list to Golnir Bouldertoe. You'll find him in the Deep Mountain Mining Guild that's in the Great Forge District of Ironforge, which is right where my griffin will drop you off. Speak to me again when you're ready for the journey. Be good. You're there. I'm ready. Well, let's go. Alright, and now we're going to fly up this mountain into Ironforge. One of my favorite cities on the Alliance. Alright, we've landed. 
Um, the quest that we gotta turn in is just right over here. So yeah, this is this is Ironforge. Obviously, I'm sure most of you guys have seen this, but this is this is sick. Like this is a whole blacksmithing area. Got the lava. It's a really cool city. What can I do for you, sir? Ah, the latest list of Grimlock's best pupils. I have a batch of honorary cleavers ready to go. I just need to engrave the names of the students. Here are the honorary cleavers for the Grimlock students. If you've already been to Karanos, then you should fly a griffin back there. Take the cleavers to our griffin master, Grith Thurden, and speak with him about a ride back to Karanos. Bring the honorary cleavers. Yep, no. Just repeating the same thing. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. So we just literally just need to hop on a griffin and, and head back. So this is the game's way of teaching you the griffin system. They give you a quest to take a griffin straight to the city and fly back to where you were so you learn and know that that's an option. You've got to get these to Karanos, eh? <laughs> that won't be a problem. Here, take the griffin back. You can take it. Blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. Let's let's fly back now. And we're off. We don't have anything we needed to put on the auction house quite yet. We already have the professions we need, so we're all set. Let's head back to Karanos and get started on this uh, on these quests. All right, we've landed. We are back at Karanos. Let's go turn this quest in. And then we'll get started. So it looks like the quests that we have are uh, we gotta kill a bunch of boars for the ribs and then we have to head up to the troll place and kill a bunch of trolls for the shimmer weed and, and stuff so we'll do the boar quest first then we'll head north um well, let's turn this in you got my attention sour beard have you returned from oh, Ironforge yes <laughs> clearly you brought the cleavers. Great. I'll get these to my students. I'm sure they're eager to use them on some fresh boar meat. Thank you for your help. I am in your debt, but I hope this money will at least cover your travel costs. See you soon. A thousand XP. Definitely worth it. Um, Alright, so let's go looking for some boars. They should just be around this area somewhere. All right, I've located a, my our first boar. I found him. And we need four of the meat, the rib, the ribs. This guy's loomed out too, look at this. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're skinning. Someone called me out in the the, the shaman uh, the shaman series we did temporarily that uh, I wasn't skinning enough, so I gotta remember to do that this time around if we are going skinning. I'm not sure skinning will really be profitable. I don't know how many people are going to be doing leather working in retail, but we'll see. Alright, so I'm gonna just gonna do a lap around this area. I'm gonna kill the rest of these boars. And uh we'll head north.
Okay, back at Ragnar. Let's turn this guy in. We get the beer bastard boar recipe now. So if we do decide to go cooking, I guess, I guess that's something that we can uh, we can use. But I doubt we'll do cooking. But yeah, let's go to uh, what is it? Uh, Frostmane. What is it? What, what what's that place called? Shimmer Ridge. Let's go kill some trolls. Oh yeah, this is the entrance to Nomergan. Or not Nomergan, but the Gnome starting zone, which has Nomergan in it, I believe. There is a quest here from Ciara Deepstone. I, I was supposed to be bringing these casks of ale to the inn in Karanos. They contain a mysterious new ale produced by an upstart brewery based in Brunal Village. As I was leaving town, I was attacked by a Frostman troll raiding party. It's going to take me days to repair the wagon. I don't suppose you'd be willing to do me a favor, will you? These big kegs aren't going to, aren't going anywhere, but I have some smaller sample casks. Would you bring them to Karanos for me? Just follow the road to the southeast. The so yeah, well, that, that'll be an easy quest to do because we have to go back there anyway. I just got to figure out how to get up on top of this mountain. It looks like we can just walk up on the side. And the shimmer weed, if I remember correctly, drops from the trolls, but is also in baskets, just like that one that we just picked up. Hopefully they respawn pretty quickly, because it looks like this other pallet, or shaman, or whatever he is, uh, warrior, just killed everything. He hasn't got to this side yet. There's more over here. was the last shimmer weed we needed and now we just need to find these frost main snow striders found a lot of sears I oh mean he saw me from far away or she excuse me Yeah, guys, so far this is much more enjoyable than the Druid. This is just... This feels better. This feels more my speed. I would like us to find a decent weapon, though. Just almost ran off the side of that cliff. Oh, yeah. Dude, I forgot that we could attack the same target. Like, there's no such thing as mob tagging anymore. How did I forget that? We could have had this quest done, like, a minute ago if we would have just helped that warrior. <laughs> Now I feel like a jerk.
Alright, after two laps around this place, hopefully we'll ha be able to complete it right now. I see two of the guys we need, which and we only need two more. Done. Let's get the hell out of here. Can we just hearth? Back to Thunderbrew? Take the lazy man's route? Yeah. <laughs> What's on your mind? See you soon. Keep your feet on the ground. These look promising. I've heard great things about the about the short and stout brewery, but I haven't had the chance to try their ale until now. While you're here, relax a little. If you need spare Hearthstone or wish to make Karanos your home, just speak to me and I'll be happy to help. Um, we'll take See the... None of that is really of use to us. I don't think we're going to have a mana issue. And Barley Brew. Do you have that shimmer weed? I almost have a batch of stout ready to brew and want to try throwing the weed in with this mixture. Great! I can't wait to use in, use these in some of my recipes. There's one in particular I think it'll work great in. And my inventory's full. Let's sell real quick. Can I help you? That is not a vendor. This is a vendor. Let's sell everything but the crafting regents. Oh, no, we could probably sell that, too. Okay. Oh. Let's try and sell that. Wait. Let's buy that back. Hey, good. Oh, in the water. We, let's just sell the water. Oh, we can't. We can't. Merchant doesn't want that item. We'll just delete the water. How's that? What's on your mind? Watch your back. And let's get those gloves equipped from that one. And just because my OCD is gonna bother me, let's sell those what gloves we just took you? off. Off with you. Perfect. Oh gosh, look at these gloves. These are terrible. Why do they look like the? Rims of the gloves just look ridiculously big. <laughs> Looks goofy as hell. We should be able to focus our efforts on the rest of the trolls to the east, but there's still the matters of the Wendigos in the Grizzled Den. Equip the shield. A little bit of an upgrade for us. The Cataclysm drove the Trogs to the surface in hordes, forcing the Frostmane Trolls to flee for their lives. Unfortunately, they have decided to settle right on our doorstep and make trouble for us. I deployed Mountaineer Dut Dunstan and his squad to the Grizzled Den just southwest of the town to keep an eye on the Wendigos that live there, but now I need to recall them to Karanos. Find them and tell them to deploy those remote observation bots the gnomes provided, then return to Karanos. The Wendigos in the Grizzled Den to the southwest of town have a lo have long been a thorn in our side. They have never quite strong enough. They were never quite strong enough to threaten Karanos directly. Yet they prey on travelers, mountaineer patrols, and supply convoys. I'm going to be withdrawing my observers from the Grizzled Den because I need them on the troll front. Would you help my men finish culling the Wendigo population? Without the strength of our without strength of numbers, they won't be able to attack us. So this quest is still here. This quest was an original OG classic. It'd be interesting to see the differences. It looks like I missed a quest back there. Hopefully it's nothing of importance that we need to do right now. I think it is actually. I think we need to go back. One second. Let me go grab that.
How are you? With the Frost Minions making trouble to our east, the Wendigos have sensed our weakness and grown bolder in their raids. Only one of their four most recent supply wagons has made it here safely. The Wendigos made off with the rest, stashing it in the Grizzled Den, a cave southwest of town. If you're willing to go down there and recover the stolen supplies, you would have the gratitude of all the townspeople and the mountaineers defending Karanos. See you soon. So I'm glad we went back for that because we would have had to go back, go in that cave twice. So definitely worth the trek back. All right, let's just kill our way in here. Looks like this this cave has been cleared out already. Maybe we can help this guy. Can we skin the yetis? No, we can't. Bummer. Pilfered supply. Here's one of the mountaineer dudes that we need. Captain Theron wants you to deploy your remote observation bots and withdraw to Karanos. I wonder if there's uh, like copper veins in here. Should be. Oh yeah, I see him on the map right right there. Okay, that's it for the supplies. Let's grab this copper vein. All right, our first copper. There's another one too. Well, what's really cool about retail is we actually get experience from mining these quite a bit too. I do for you. All right, so we just need Mountaineer Valgrim, who's right up here, it looks like. And a couple more of these Wendigos. And that's it. Let's head on out of here. Let's go turn these guys in and uh, see where they want us to go. All right, we made it back. Did you find any of the missing supplies? Well done, Sourbeard. The Mountaineers will be glad to hear that half rations are at an end. They'll need their, all their strength to continue fighting the Frost Mans. Hand of Reckoning is what we just got. That's a ta taunt. That's a like a tanking spell. I don't even think we really need that on our bar. Now that you've dealt with the Wendigos, we should be able to focus our efforts on the Frostmane Trolls to the east. Thank you for your help, Sourbeard. Our forces are deploying thin 
are deployed thinly these days, and three Mountaineers could be the difference between Karanos and being Karanos and being overrun. Most of the Mountaineers in steam tanks and Dunmoreau are battling along the Frost Main Front, which is approaching us from the southeast. We can barely hold the trolls back, let alone the let alone advance into their village and take on their leader. They've blocked our path of approach with mysterious totems that choke mountaineers who, came, who come in range, leaving the victims helpless against their enemies. The stone is inscribed with the rune of fire. It should be able to destroy the totems and free our mountaineers. Okay, and then one more quest to pick up. Hey! I should go back to Gnome again and continue researching a cure for irradiated gnomes. But I stayed behind in Karanos because the town is my home and I wanted to help defend it from the frost main attacks. I've been working on maintaining and repairing the steam tanks. For some reason, frost main scavengers have taken a liking to the Nomer, the gyro, gyro mechanic gears I need to complete the repairs. They're all over the frost main front to the southeast of town. Will you help me get those gears back? Off and away. Yeah, 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 I can. Um, let's see, how are we doing on time? Um, what I think I might do is I think I might call it a day for now. Uh, we are level nine. Um, and, uh, we'll, we'll kick things off the next episode by hitting level 10. And yeah, we'll go from there. So far, guys, this has been a much more enjoyable experience. I mean, I know when I first started the Druid, experience like once i hit level i don't know seven i was like ooh, i don't know if i even like this to be honest personally um and i'm not feeling that way with the paladin thus far so i'm actually really enjoying it um so yeah we'll get we'll get another episode out um really soon on this one so stay tuned and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys